Well, seeing as people don't want to play these long games, I've selected this 7 plus 6 second game, so at least there's an increment on this. I'm really trying to practice for my Thursday challenge. I've got 20 games. 20 games to play over a series of weeks. So every Thursday, playing long games against my challenger let's see so i really want to focus on i didn't really want my bishop out there actually but never mind um let's go here let's go with the norm i know the computer doesn't like this type of move sometimes I'm going to capture de phillips's knight here attacks our bishop shall we leave it there for a minute let's leave it there for a minute I am kind of jamming my bishop in. This is going to have to get a double dose, isn't it? Coming on here. Well, I'll take it eventually if, it, if that happens. So, in this case, don't really want to give the opponent a development opportunity. You know, if I take, I take. But if I have to, then I will take. So I'd rather develop my pieces, get them into action. So he's moved further back now, so I'm going to take here because rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board, so I can work with that aspect. Now I really wanted to get this centre here, but it doesn't look like we're playing that type of game. So if I go here, then we might be able to... I've got the knight here protecting the pawn, so we might be able to push... He's coming for the bishop anyway. He's got this pawn in his sights. So I'm actually still going to push this pawn because we've got ample protection for the bishop. More so with the pawn. Maybe with the queen. Yeah, probably with the queen. Okay. So he didn't want to take. So I'm going to push here now just to relieve that tension a little bit. Now we've got to think about the support for this pawn, so probably need to bring the rook here. Now he's brought the rook back, so he's lost a bit of tempo, but positionally it's nothing major. Can I take advantage of that? Maybe pushing this pawn up, 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 up. Or positioned here with the rook. So when I do evaluation of the games afterwards, you know, the computers always find a dynamic move of some sort. So in this position here can I not find the dynamic move it's like they you know they don't move the pieces or anything they just find a move that you go oh yeah why didn't I think of that type of move what is that move here then the what why didn't I think of that move could push the pawn up Queen, Queen, Rook. It's going to be attacking our true. Uh, let's just do that. It might just be something like that. Not very dynamic, I know. It's the problem with doing that type of move is if they're brave, then they can take, and it just. Oh, he's blocked his bishop. What's his plan for his knight? Or is he planning these? He's probably planning them. Can't see his, what's his knight coming around here for. Doesn't have an outpost. So what's the computer move? What is the move that says, well, why didn't I think of that? The logical and it always is a logical move as well really but most of the time these magical quiet moves just don't do it I think he's pushing down here isn't it to open up this so what I think he's gonna do let's bring my knight here I think he's pushing here So he's going with a magical knight move. Oh, he said that. I wasn't really fearful of that. 
I don't really see that it was going to do it, but it has done it. Just bring the queen here. Now that's some sort of set play thing that we're falling into with the speed at which he moved the queen. So is he attacking this pawn? Knight's got there, we've got the knight protecting. Has he forgotten that my knight is protecting? Or is coming with this pawn here to capture this pawn? Yeah. So if we went and attacked, excuse me, probably best going with this one actually to attack the queen because he's got a double dose all over the place. That's a big tactical manoeuvre, is that? A human seeing all of that fancy pattern, that's quite amazing. Oh, dear me. So now he's attacking the pawn, he's still wanting to come and do this. Because if we did take, his queen takes. My queen is on the other side of the table. Going to attack the knight, but his bishop's going to be taking this pawn. And it's one of those where I'm going, yeah, the bishop's going to take the pawn, and I could have done something about it, you know, that type of thing. But um, I don't really know what to do with it. And maybe I need to practice learning how to deal with that type of thing because. And he's come down attacking the queen. Now the bishop takes the pawn. What do we do with it? No, it doesn't just yet. Okay. There's no protection on my queen. Yeah, this is one of those where um, I just feel I'm a little bit jammed in here. So I might have to bring the king into the fray a little bit. My poor queen is all... And then I can start doing this. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, I've got to look at the time as well. It's only a six second increment. We're not doing too bad, I suppose. Four minutes. But they're using their answer process. Now the knight's going to come back around again. Putting pressure. We have a mini plan. Oh, and he's blocking that off. But we're probably taking here. His queen takes. Knight then puts some pressure on his queen coming here. Trying to open up the queen a bit. Comes and attacks the knight. Yeah, he's got like a checker rooney on my. Let's go. Can we take the queen with anything? Nope. Let's go here, protecting the knight as well. He's doing a lot of work with this queen. We want to be trying to get this trapped. And I need to get my queen in a bit of a balance. It's not balanced, right? It's got no protection on it. He's putting insurmount amount of pressure on my king area already. Again, let's go for the queen. Trying to make him pay the price for just using the queen while we're getting our pieces closer towards his king area. Fingers crossed, come on. And he's got my queen again in that sort of funny position. Could push the pawn on because his bishop's blocked. I'm going to push the pawn on, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. This queen has got to get trapped at some stage. It's way, doing way too much work, come on. So he's moved now. And we could bring the knight up here now just to block it off, but he just drops his pawn. Get the queen here. This knight comes down to attack and attacking the pawn at the same time. Yeah, I was thinking of bringing the queen here, but then I realized that his queen is just going to take this pawn. So now I'm in this funky situation where I'm going to have to come back here. Don't really want to, but there's nothing else, is there? Boxing a little bit clever is this this player, isn't he? Hey, if we go there, then he gets a fork on us as well. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. So if we go here, 
And then if his queen goes and takes the pawn, we take his rook. No, we don't because his knight is there. Oh my lad. So I've got that. I've got this knight move here for a mate threat the bishop takes. And then we still do have the rooks coming here, putting pressure on. Okay, let's do that. Probably might just take with the queen and his knight still got the pawn here. Okay, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Okay, so the knight does take. I'm going to take the queen off the ball because he thinks he's really good with that. I'm going to attack the knight. Knight takes the pawn. Okay, so that gives me space to come here. He's going to take this pawn so his knight is going to be out of the picture, which is a good sign for us. we need to find a way of getting in because we've only got knights and his bishop's just going to take the pawns and if I could move this knight then get this rook facing off here he's not taking the pawn that's an interesting situation so he's further across the side, other side of the board anyway right how do we oh he's defending this square mind you would have been defending it anyway so if we come here and attack this pawn his rook drops down to protect all this one does he doesn't do any of that so we'll go here with a check on the king first he's got a nice little fork going so he's got my knight we've got this pawn here hmm and what can the knight do can the knight do something take that pawn with the rook don't think that's much because he can't well, well, well he can't go there either okay it's almost like a main net thing going on and what can the knight do can the knight put a check on the king at all no pawn can though push onto the puts a check on but then I can't take back. Well, I can take back, and I'll, oh, mind you, he's got his bishop as well. If we take, then his king takes, then we put a check on the king. I'll check on, he drops down. No, he doesn't. It comes for the rook. Rook can come here. Put in a check on the king. I'll just take the pawn in the far side. I'm going to take the pawn in the far side this knight's got to check on his king but he's going to drop down for us it's a bit messy isn't it a bit messy but we seem to have got the king into the center of the board we should be able to do something maybe but he might be an aggressive king and he's coming down taking off all these pawns you know seen that done many times just whipping them all off bang 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 still there going so looks like their lights have gone out I think they've left the game oh interesting times so we do have that as well that type of stuff I'm claiming victory on that one whoa from a tricky beginning the logical creative answer to chess is kicking in yeah even though I didn't like this position shall we have a quick look at the analysis on this one just this one for now let's see how it was actually looking oh yeah the gauge bars in in favor of us yeah it's, it's liking us it's liking us which that's good Right, let's just have a look see where it wasn't in favour for us because <laughs> that was very quite quite a dark opening the opponent kicked in. So came through Yeah. I think we made the right choices in terms of you know when to capture and when not to. So just giving White the advantage a bit now. Yeah, we were sort of dancing a bit here. Let's just go back one or two from that moment. Yep, 
yeah the locking down thing he didn't like that usually it does like locking down doesn't it but it's saying take and we usually like taking as well so we should stick with the mantra yeah okay we're going back into safe mode we're trying to go back into old school you know our old ways and we need to not be doing that we choose it at the right moments but not in a game like this Okay, let's keep going there must be a drastic dip somewhere so the queen is down big queen is down knight comes up this is where I'm thinking it all went a bit wrong gauge bars are still in our favor it's dropped down a bit doesn't like that king move there's nothing major and doesn't like that pawn move that's that's worse but we've come back again with their queen move. Oh, it doesn't like that knight move. Oof, dear. Don't like any of this bit here. Yeah, I thought it was a bit shady, but. <laughs> okay. And it doesn't like that knight move either. What, what's it saying? Oh, pawn push. Hmm. Okay. Yes, I didn't see that, did I? Oh, white's in favour here, big style. I knew it, I knew something wasn't right with it. It didn't feel right. Oh, look at that. He's about two moves away from checkmate. It does bring the knight down. Oh, my, look at that gauge bar. Oh, my gosh, we've basically lost. Ouch. Uh, God, if he'd have taken. It doesn't make much difference still. We're still losing. Oh, my gosh. Wow! Oh, this is amazing. Yes, yeah, so I should have taken the pawn, but it's still not that bad. They're still winning. They're out and out winning. And then we grab. Still not that bad. Oh, and then after that king move, that's when we started getting advantage. Just after that king move. Oh my word! Yeah, I knew it wasn't feeling good. We were just jostling, just trying to get some sort of position play. Uh, the more their king got in the centre, the better it was for us. And that's basically all she wrote on that one. Got to try and not get into those positions. Got to use the answer process from the um, positions that the engine was just showing then. And the movements that they made, they were like answer moves. So just got to keep it simple and not get all fancy.